Hey friends, welcome back to my channel and welcome back to another what's for breakfast video. I share these probably about once a month. I think it's been a little bit over a month since the last one that I shared uh, because typically we don't eat things like this on a day to day basis. These are the kinds of things that I make like I guess you would call them like weekend breakfast like for most people but we don't have like the typical weekend days since we homeschool and my husband works retail but these are the kinds of things like I'll make when I want to make like a big breakfast on like a day when my husband's off or we just want to have a big breakfast so I'm always trying new things for breakfast I think it's fun to just like have a big breakfast every once in a while and these are also great if your family likes to do breakfast for dinner so i've got three kind of four ish um different ideas for breakfast so let's go ahead and get into the video starting off the first thing that i have to share with you guys is this sausage and gravy breakfast pizza so I'm starting this off by just preparing some gravy, just some white gravy. I just used a packet of gravy because I was trying to make things really simple since this was breakfast. This was actually breakfast on Easter morning and I had already cooked up a pound of sausage the night before so that would make it super simple. But if you're going to cook your sausage like in the morning, uh, you could make your own homemade white gravy like super simple. Um, I think I have that in a video somewhere, so I will leave that link down below if you're interested in that. But this morning, I just made a packet of gravy according to the package directions, and that was like one cup of water and the packet, bring it to a boil, let it simmer for a minute till it thickens. Super simple. Then I cooked up some scrambled eggs to go on our pizza. I just heated up my cast iron pan over like a medium heat. And then to that, I added a little bit of bacon grease because I always like to cook my eggs in bacon grease. And then I whisked together, I think it was four or five eggs, however many eggs you want. You can do a lot of eggs. You could do no eggs. You could do a little bit of eggs. I whisked together some eggs with some salt and pepper and just cooked those until they were done. Next, I greased my pizza pan with a little bit of cooking spray, and then I got my pizza dough on there and just kind of worked it out until it was a big circle shape and covered my whole pan. I am using my favorite pizza dough recipe. It's like fail-proof pizza dough. Um, I had this in the freezer, and so the night before, I just tossed it in the fridge to thaw. And yeah, I highly recommend making extra pizza dough anytime you make pizza and then freezing part of it because then you have quick pizza dough on hand. But you could totally just use like a packet of pizza dough or like the refrigerated kind, whatever you want to use. Just you want to get your pizza dough on your pan. Then I took that gravy that I made and spread that over the dough for my sauce. And then I took my crumbled sausage that I had cooked the night before and spread that out all over. I wanted to actually not even have to make sausage. I wanted to get those like pre-cooked ones that you find at the grocery store, the little like sausage crumbles but my Kroger was out so I wasn't able to get those so I did have to make my own but if you are looking for an even easier way to make this pizza you could buy pre-cooked crumbled sausage and make it super easy and then once I have my sausage on there I topped this with some cheddar cheese and, and then I topped this with my eggs and then I put this in the oven on I think it was 425 for about 10 to 12 minutes if you are using like a refrigerated pizza crust or something else just follow the directions for your crust you really just want to cook this until your crust is done to your liking and here's what this looked like when it was done y'all this was so good the kids just asked me a few minutes ago like when am i gonna make it again because they love this so much we just served it with some fruit on the side some of us had pineapple some of us had strawberries and honestly, it was so good. And it was even good the next day too because we had leftovers. Um, I just reheated it in the air fryer and it was great. Next up, I have this Hissy Fit breakfast casserole. This recipe comes from Plain Chicken, so I will have it linked down below for y'all. Any recipe that I've tried from Plain Chicken has always been great and this was no exception. So to start off, I just browned one pound of some breakfast sausage until it was cooked through. While that was cooking in a large bowl, I whisked together six eggs, half a cup of milk, about a teaspoon of Worcestershire sauce, some onion powder, garlic powder, and salt and pepper. Mm -hmm. 
Then I started getting my casserole ready to put together. I've got a nine by 13 inch pan here and this crescent dough sheet that I'm going to lay in the bottom of it. I did spray my pan with some cooking spray just so that it wouldn't stick too bad. Um, so you do want to grease it and then I am using the crescent dough sheet, but you don't have to use this I was just lucky to find it and I knew that I was going to be pinching together the like triangles of the regular crescent rolls if I didn't get the sheet so you can do either or it's just one eight ounce tube whether it's the regular crescent rolls or the sheet but if you do use the rolls make sure you pinch them together so you don't have any cracks and then I took my cooked sausage and sprinkled that over the top of the crescent dough and then I sprinkled that with some cheese and then I poured on that egg mixture that I had whisked together previously poured that over the top and then this went in the oven on 350 for about 45 minutes until the eggs were all the way cooked this was delicious we absolutely loved it i will definitely be making it again and this is one of those that you can prep the night before and then bake in the morning and it even has instructions on freezing it so all that will be down below in the original recipe we just had this with some fruit and this was enough breakfast for like three days for my family Finally, the last breakfast I have for you is French toast. Now I did French toast like the traditional like sweet way, but then I also made a savory French toast because my husband Andy had been wanting a savory French toast. Um, and this was the breakfast that I made for his birthday. So I decided to try that out for him. So for my French toast, I'm starting off by getting my seasonings together and two separate pie plates, one for the sweet and one for the savory. So in the sweet one, I'm just doing some cinnamon and some nutmeg and some sugar. And you can see I was trying to measure this out, but I just like dumped some in there. But I will have the recipe that I was loosely following down below for you guys. And then in the savory one, I really wasn't following a recipe because a lot of them had seasonings I didn't think we would really like. Um, and so I just kind of winged it. I did some of the onion salt from Trader Joe's, some garlic powder, some parsley, and some thyme, and then some salt and pepper. And then I saw online somewhere, I think it might have been on TikTok, where when you add your milk, if you add just a little bit at a time and like slowly whisk it in with the, um, cinnamon then it helps make your cinnamon like not clump together or like stick to the sides of the bowl as much that way you get more cinnamon like on each piece of toast because i don't know about you but in the past when i make french toast it like wants to come together and you don't end up with much cinnamon on like the last few pieces and this worked out really well i just slowly whisked in the milk until it was all incorporated and it stayed like nicely incorporated throughout all of the milk and then I did the same thing with the savory one and then I whisked in my eggs for the savory one I was making less of the savory french toast so I did two eggs over there and then for the other one I was making more of the regular french toast so I did four eggs in there Then it came time to cook my French toast. The bread that I am using is the English muffin bread that I made a couple weeks ago. I froze one of the loaves of it and I thought it would make great French toast. Um, that was a recommendation actually from my friend Ashley. She suggested it, so I decided to do that. Ever since she said it, I was like, I need that in my life. So I had that and I just dipped it in whichever like sweet or savory I was making. I used the same bread to make both. And when I dip it, I like to let it soak up just a few minutes, get a lot of that egg mixture. And then I just cooked this on my griddle. And I did the same way for the sweet and for the savory.
And here's what that sweet French toast looked like. We just served it with some maple syrup, some powdered sugar, some bacon, and some fruit. And it was delicious. This like English muffin bread made amazing French toast. It was so good. It like soaked up the egg really nicely and all the nooks and crannies were really good. And then here is the savory one. Andy just put a little bit of butter on this and he said it was delicious. Um, the only thing was I maybe added a little bit too much of the onion salt. It was a little oniony. So next time I wouldn't add so much of that. But other than that, he liked it. And I ate one of the pieces actually the next day with some avocado on it. I like just heated it up in the toaster oven and made avocado toast with it and it was amazing it was so good um so highly recommend trying savory french toast um and even this english muffin bread i will leave the video down below where i made that and use that english muffin bread to make toast use it to make french toast whatever you want it is really really good but that is going to be it for this what's for breakfast video i hope that you guys enjoyed it if you plan on trying any of these recipes let me know which ones in the comments down below as always thank you guys so much for watching and i will see y'all in the next one bye